The sustainable green team believes our planet is facing real trouble with issues like carbon loss, dead soils, overuse of chemical fertilizers and pesticides, and unaffordable organic fertilizers. So the company uses disruptive technologies to transform biological waste into highly nutrient-rich products that impact the health and the environment. And with me is Tony Rayner, the CEO of this sustainable green team. And you're in town for a sustainable sustainability conference. So yes, tell me about that. We're excited being hosted by New to the Street uh, Sustainable Conference uh, right here in Manhattan. Uh -huh. And uh, we got a group coming from around the, the country and uh, it's going to be a, a great event. We're excited to really uh, begin to get some awareness out there mm -hmm. and talk about some of the upcoming things that are in the works. So tell me about the event. Who are the speakers? What's kind of the, what's the goal? Sure, we got a lineup. There's about five or six different speakers. Um, I'll be speaking. Uh, our CFO, Barry Pappenfuss, will be speaking. Um, we got the Wicked Tuna, Captain Paul Hibbert, that's going to be speaking. Um, number one uh, fisherman in America, Jimmy Houston. Okay. And we got Bobby Mann. Yeah. And uh, so we got a good lineup, and we'll be able to really discuss the things that are up ahead and, and how we're planning on doing it. Yeah. Now, um, tell me about this new product, it's a Waterless Garden. Yeah. Right? Explain that. How does that work? Well, with us having mm -hmm. this disruptive technology and having a, a moisture making soil, that became a very good base for a recipe for a product that can be launched in the retail market. And with our product and manufacturing water as one of the byproducts, you have to water your garden less. Mm. And it's a chemical free product and it's sustainable. And we're utilizing uh, what we have an abundance of. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the waterless garden is going to be a household name. And that's a, a really a big part of this sustainable conference is going to be talking about well, yeah. the waterless garden. It's attention getting because it you're really like the is. waterless garden. How does that work? Is this for small gardens, big gardens, any gardens? Like yeah, and anybody can go on on social media too, and they can watch some of the videos that we post on our on our you know our outlet there. And Jimmy Houston, we've been doing tests on thousand acre ranches. The results are phenomenal. Uh, we've been able to grow tomato plants without watering. Um, and showing the side by side, week by week, uh, you know, results. Mm. And so to be able to, you know, manufacture water and soil, not only is that good for food security and what we're doing, but it works great in home gardening. Yeah. I even got some videos online where I'm gardening here at home. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I could use something like that because I tried to grow tomatoes once and I think I got two little tomatoes. So we would starve if I was the, <laughs> the farmer in our household. Can people buy it? How do they buy it? Yeah, How do you get so a market the that's the whole part of this marketing campaign that we put together. Um, we're going to be launching in every major retail outlet in the U.S. Um, we're going to be filling up Amazon as well. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we have the manufacturing capacity. Uh, right now we currently have inventory um, that has been uh, manufactured, ready to go. So we plan on filling up uh, Amazon later in the, the end of the fourth quarter and launching in the retail next year. Um, so by the end of the fourth quarter, you'll be able to go on our website too. Um, and you'll be able to just order it online and get it. And uh, so we're excited about that. Maybe in time for gardening season in yeah. the spring. Yeah, so. absolutely. And you have some new um, influencers. Yeah. Too, right. So tell me about that. Yeah, so we have an incredible team that we put together um, that uh, really came together through uh, Bobby Mann with Mann Marketing. And uh, he's been a great influencer in the market for a long time and has a lot of lifetime relationships with guys like, you know, Jimmy Houston. You know, Jimmy Houston was known on uh, number one show on ESPN for over 20 plus years. He's been on TV for 48 years. And he's a conservationist. Mm -hmm. He has thousands of acres of land. Uh, he believes in our product. He believes in America. And, uh, you know, if you really look at the backbone of our country is you, you take a look at the, you know, the farmers and you take a look at the hunters and the fishermen, they care about their waterways. And with all of the pollution that we've had with contaminated soils, that affects the water. And so we wanted to bring uh, influence in, not just to put a big name to our company, we wanted to put people that really have an impact on the environment that really believe in it. Mm -hmm. So guys like uh, Jimmy Houston, mm -hmm. uh, and then Captain Paul Hubert, that most people know is a, a celebrity on uh, Wicked Tuna. Uh, he believes in it as well, and he's also a gardener. Mm -hmm. And so even this week before the conference, we're gonna do some gardening right here in Manhattan on some rooftops yeah. and uh, we really want to bring education, awareness uh, and real results that people can see and having the right people that, um, that really practice what they preach mm -hmm. uh, to be a part of uh, the sustainable mission that we have. Sure, that, that matches the brand. Yeah. Like you want them to really know. Thank you so much, Tony. Great to have you back. Good luck Absolutely. with the conference. Thank you. Thanks.